About 300 people gathered outside the British consulate in New York City to voice their support for imprisoned WikiLeaks publisher Julian Assange. Among the speakers were rock legend Roger Waters from Pink Floyd and Max Blumenthal, the founder and editor of The Grey Zone. I was just thinking, wouldn't it be great if the holidays were free of our attachments to competing deities or their disciples or prophets and could simply be a seasonable expression of general thanks to no one in particular for the bounty that this beautiful planet bestows upon us poor sinners. And thank you. <coughs> I don't know, somebody chuckled. She's nice. Um, and maybe even a celebration of our potential to look after one another. Paragraph. What's this got to do with Julian Assange? I hear you say, well, actually, everything. Bear with me. I'll get there. Ever since the persecution of Julian Assange started in 2010, or whenever it was, I've been boiling with rage. Finally, someone was providing we the people with a hitherto absent public service, namely telling us the truth about what was really going on in the corridors of power and the theatres of war. Would you please welcome Max Blumenthal from the Grey Zone? Who are the people that we have the hardest time trying to talk to about this? It's the progressives, the liberals, the MSNBC watchers, the people who read legacy media. We call them libs now, but these are educated people who read the New York Times and the Washington Post, and they don't realize the Washington Post is owned by one of the world's richest men who is a contractor for the CIA, who hosts the CIA's cloud at his Amazon. They don't realize that, and they are hostile to Julian Assange. Don't forget the people who so, the Patriot Act. The people who support the Patriot Act. So that the mainstream media has become an enemy of the journalist, the most courageous publisher and journalist of our time. And I always tell this story, I always tell this story about the piece that I published that Randy mentioned at the Gray Zone about how the CIA was running an operation to surveil Julian Assange at the Ecuadorian embassy. They had taken over the security through UC Global and so everyone who came in through the front door to visit Julian, they thought they were speaking to an Ecuadorian you know, security guard. It was in fact a CIA asset who would take their devices, open their devices, invade their devices, and then send it back to Langley. So who were the, some of those people? Some of those people were reporters for these same publications that have demonized Julian Assange, painting him as a Russian spy and so on. One of them was Ellen Nakashima, the chief national security correspondent for the Washington Post. I published photos of her devices that were opened by CIA assets at UC Global. Just to, re just to restate that, the chief national security correspondent for the Washington Post had her devices infiltrated by the CIA. Now, can you imagine if the Russian FSB did that, what would have happened? There would have been headlines on every mainstream publication. I went to the Washington Post. I went to Ellen Nakashima. I said, do you have any comment on this? Do you have anything to say about this? No. Silence. Crickets. Not a damn thing because they can't bite the hand that feeds them. They are coward. No, they're 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 worse than cowards. They are the voice of the national security state that Julian Assange exposed. They are the stenographers for our secret government. We are fighting not only for the right of Julian Assange to hold his children and be with his wife. We're fighting for the right to expose the secret government, the national security state, the central intelligence agency, which has a $90 billion or more black budget, which has infested Facebook, Twitter, and other social media platforms with its former agents. And we see Garland Nixon here is banned from Twitter. I thought, I thought Elon Musk was exposing censorship. Yeah. National security state contractor Elon Musk, I thought he was exposing censorship. He said only the right is censored. Well, why are anti-imperialists like Garland Nixon censored? Why are they suspended? Why? Why isn't he leaking the files about that? Why isn't he leaking the files about Russiagate? 
Why isn't he leaking the files about everyone who criticized the Ukraine proxy war being suspended? Why has Elon Musk not restored the Twitter account of Julian Assange? Can we at least free Julian Assange's Twitter account? Oh, 